Esports organizations perceive professional players as an asset that can be sold, bought, exchanged and receive a profit or go to a loss depending on luck. There is even a special commission that evaluates the value of players, but even they sometimes make mistakes and cannot say exactly what the actual value of player is. Today we will talk about transfers, player management, their price and impact on the performance of the teams in the CS. Before we start, follow the link in the description, enter the promo code from the screen and get 11% of your debt and free spin out the wheel. Use it, bro! Hi everybody, it's Gary, GG Dropcom channel, we are ready, but please don't forget to subscribe, press the bell and thumb up. Let's go! Does anyone think that fishing is boring? Ha, they just didn't catch fish on GG Drop. Run into the new coolest fishing event on GG Drop. Receive gear for every deposit, more gear, a higher chance of catching rare fish. Enter the top 100 in the fisherman's race and receive a cash prize to your account. Luck is already on the hook. Catch it! What makes up a player's value for an esports team? Of course, many will answer based on his skill and performance, and they will be right, but only partly. Even a super skilled player being a toxic person can disrupt the atmosphere, human climate, and communication in the team, resulting in harm despite his skill. CS is a team game where you cannot win alone, even if you are a genius. For example, Cloud9 recently signed two really big stars, Electronic, whose prizes estimated at over 2 million bucks and perfecto so what nothing after this transfer the statistics and results of the team are simply terrifying let's remember the last tournament in sydney which was a failure for the clouds but it seemed like everything should be great and here are similar results the news that shiro leaving the team was confirmed where does he go he can't speak english we'll see Yes, in terms of transfer, CS is similar to football. You won't be able to achieve results just grabbing the best players. Imagine Messi and Ronaldo in the same team. Whoa, but with the rivalry, they will destroy the climate in any team and it will begin to lose. Or here's another option. Insiders are talking about Simple's departure from Navi. The cost of this toxic, excuse me, asset is about $3.6 million. Only Zaibu is valued more expensive. And and then not by much, 3.9 million dollars. Now there is official confirmation that Seabal is taking a break and considering proposals. In any case, in the new team, the player will not be able to afford the same things that he could in Navi, where he played for many years and his behavior was accepted as a necessary evil. A person cannot become someone else, it means there will be conflicts, failures and as a result, Simple's price tag will most likely go down. Also the CS is full of surprises and it is almost impossible to predict anything for sure. However, not only the players determine team's performance, but also the coach, and not only like Blade, the Navi coach who was forced to replace Symbol at a Sydney tournament, but especially like Zonic, the best coach in CS history. Not long ago, the most unusual and top transfer for CS took place. Danish coach Danny Zonic Sorensen has moved from Vitality to the Falcons. This coach transfer has caused quite a stir. Zonic has been in CS, just imagine, since 2003. His playing career lasted 9 years, and then CSGO came out, which the old guys rejected. Danny was among them, but when CSGO stopped sucking, oh excuse me, got up from its knees, Zonic decided to try himself as a coach. He led a roster of no names that later became Astralis, the greatest team in history. They won four majors, dominated for several years and reinvented competitive CS. Danish team showed more ideas than all the previous winners combined. However, during the coronavirus period, when everyone went online, the team had more problems and players began to leave because of a girl details in our 
leader Sex, Drugs and Rock and Roll in CS. Device left the team and Zonic received an offer that you can't refuse. Vitality, a French team with Mathieu Zaibu Airboy in the roster, came to Danny. By the way, Zaibu is the only person alone with Device who was able to compete with Simple. The Vitality sniper has already been recognized as the best player in the world twice, and only Simple has three such awards so far. So Zonic became the coach of the team Vitality, with him they turned into one of the best teams in the world. Vitality took three top tournaments, including the last CSGO major in history in Paris. Zonic became the only coach to win a major with two different teams. In total, he has more than 20 trophies. No coach in the world has such a luxurious collection. And now the shocking news, coach is moving from the first team in the world to the 50 Thieves. Falcons a little-known Saudi team. Obviously, the rich Saudis pay so much that now only Valve earns more than Zonic and CS. In addition, he will have an unlimited budget for recruiting new roster. Such offers have never been made to anyone before. How are Vitality doing after the coach left? The world's top team, the current champions of the major, lost absolutely everything at the first CS2 tournament and the first tournament without Zonek. And if the loss to the champions of Sydney tournament phase team can be somehow understood and forgiven, then the failure of the young Bad Boom team can be explained by nothing but a deep crisis in the team. What is the reason? What was Zonek doing so special? Maybe he knew all the layouts and timings better than anyone in the world? No. Perhaps he used some kind of coaching bug with the camera? No again. Maybe he was a superman and could read the minds of his opponents? No, no and no. He is the king of the ability to unite a team. Zonic has changed the way players approach the game. He was one of the first to promote the idea that a player should develop comprehensively, eat right and not forget about his physical and mental state. Astralis had a nutritionist and psychologist, the Danes were the first truly professional team. In addition, Zonic always had a coach and staff which played a significant role in the success of his teams. One of the key assistants is psychologist Lars Robel, who served in the Danish Special Forces for 20 years. He moved with Zonic from Astralis to Vitality and now moves with him to Falcons. The ability to unite into one fist, the matching of players, their common priorities, this is one of the main components of a successful transfer. The trap is that once in a good team like a seed on a fertile soil, the players begins to show results, his price rises. But when he is sold like a flower, he is transplanted to another land, where he may not take root. Therefore, the art of transfers in CS is not determined by the current price of the player, but by something completely different. There are many talented players who did not make a big career because of psychological incompatibility with teams. Mind versus money. Mind always wins. Guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to thumb up and subscribe to our channel to be aware of all CS2 news. Stay tuned and see you soon.